the way things are really, really going. You, the uh, way things are really going. Here you have this particular sister. You see the third eye. You see the dreadlocks, which represents melanin because you know that that's melanated, that nappy hair, which is the spiral double helical structure, which is DNA. You see the DNA in the hair. And then you see this demon. This is not really a demon per se, that this is a demon as far as coming out of her, but what it means is this. This shell that we have is conducive, but it's a container for higher energy on the third dimension. This energy is so powerful until it's just no different than electricity. So the, the energy will blow you up and uh, blind you and do all kinds of stuff, burn you up. So they have to bottle it and put it in a container. So it can be conducive to this artificial realm. You understand where I'm coming from? Well, what has happened here is our energy is so powerful, which I say, hell, this is the same energy right here, the chaos energy. So what's happening is when it is shown on this realm, it is showing you how powerful it is. And in this realm, when we see these demons, we're literally seeing our higher self. And it's just that this realm that we are on is not conducive for that particular energy. So it shows up looking like this. But this container protects you, to, makes it pleasant for you to see. Now, outside of this realm, this would look like this. It's just because this realm here, you understand where I'm coming from? So this is, so this is a key thing uh, coming from England, a picture coming from England, but beyond the brain. And each one of these lines in here is actually saying some things. This is a key thing, but it's showing you the power of us on the inside. Now, it's interesting because when the Europeans see this, you see, most people that was in the service, mm, most people who was in the service that went to Asia, mainly Japan, uh, uh, most people that was in the service that went to England, that went to, no, excuse me, that went to Japan, they say that the Japanese are scared of us, they call us the devil, they think we're the devil. Uh, uh, think that we're the devil. And basically this is what the European literally experienced by coming in contact with you. He's not a racist. It's just that his energy cannot take the certain energy that you give off. That's how powerful you are. You see what I'm saying? It can't take your certain energy. Certain energy is held, you can't take no iron and throw it in no fucking bathtub. You're gonna have some, some eruption. So what you was calling racism in actuality, you're talking about an energy field. So it's innate. Otherwise, otherwise, when they, when they learned about, when they learned about racism in the 60s, and we call them on it, there's no way in hell that the 1990s could come about and they would revert back to the same thing and call it conservatism or the, or the right, or they call it the, the, the right side other than the left, the, the, you know, the, the, left, the right wing. That means that they only use the racism as a political tool and a utility or what they would call the liberalism. It's more of a political agenda more than it is changing a person's nature. You see what I'm saying? I can work with them, so, and I can do this kind of thing. So what we got here, we went, they went through what is called a behavioral modification. That's like a damn cat learning how to swim. You understand what I'm saying? And a dog learning how to damn go to the fucking kitty litter box. We're talking about a behavioral modification where you're trained to, to behave in a certain fashion, but that's not your nature. So what has happened is, is they, have, they, they, they had a behavioral modification. And in actuality, what you think is not racism. That's the, that's, that's the term, and I think this was the term that the white boy invented. To make it political so you can't get behind the real frequency. You see what I'm saying? It's more than racism. We talk about energy fields and actual nature. That's why the white woman wrote the book, Psychic Self-Defense. The Unfortune. And in there she talk about the, the pathology of coming in contact with non-human contact. And she said, soul is people in human bodies. And she said, you got four currents. The, the human man got four currents 
and the non-human has two, which is talking about a lower level. And when you come into the non-human contact, shuts down your two. Now this is white people dealing out of their coat. And she was no slow leak either. This woman, this woman was a train in our science coming out of the damn British Museum. They knew our shit. So we're not talking about no Rudy Poon stuff here. We're talking about advanced people in the late 1800s. Dion Fortune. Psychic self-defense. Dion Fortune. You see what I'm saying? Pathology of non-human contact. You see. So they can't take our energy. You see, they can't they can't take our energy, which I'll read in a few minutes on which which I'll read in a few minutes on how they how when 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 by the time the Europeans took over the church in early Rome, you was perceived as the devil and the person that they were talking about was you. And the and the images that they would see. So we talk about an energy when it automatically comes in contact with each other, we talk about a hatred. Now they can learn to go against that energy, but it's only a utility. That's no different than you not, not, not necessarily like your boss that you got to go to work, take shit, just to get a paycheck. That's the same thing we talk about, where you abide by laws. You see what I'm saying? Most of the laws in the United States make no sense, but you abide by them anyway. Don't even question them. You see what I'm saying? So this is what we're dealing with here when we're dealing with this particular concept. So this particular energy here that we're dealing with here.